Mercury, like many metals, has a very long history of being used for various purposes. Unfortunately, mercury is very rare in the Earth's crust. There's only about a dozen elements out of the 90 that exist that are harder to find. So the places and the minerals from which we get mercury have been uh, somewhat elusive over the years. If we look at the actual source material for mercury, unfortunately this is a fairly small specimen so you can't see it too well, we have a mineral called cinnabar. Cinnabar is a mercury sulfide and this is the primary ore that's been used throughout the years to get mercury, although there are some others as well. As far as geographic localities, in the ancient world, most of the mines for mercury were in Spain. And even in Roman times, there was a great deal of interest in mercury. Someone asked me in a class once, what did they do with it? They used it for uh, medicines and to poison people, which uh, some people like to do in the ancient world. In the period of conquest and exploration, when Europeans came to the New World, there were huge mercury deposits discovered in the nation of Peru, and those were mined for the next several centuries. There are other places in the world where mercury has been mined, uh, and some of those have been in the United States, Mexico. Mercury deposits tend to occur in areas where you have mountains, and so places in Nevada and other areas in western United States uh, have had uh, mercury deposits. Currently, today, the largest producer of mercury in the world is the nation of China. China, like a lot of other large countries, has a very diverse geology and a very rich uh, supply of minerals. And well over half of all mercury that's mined comes from there. Uh, the second most abundant producer is one of the former Soviet republics, uh, Kyrgyzstan, which lies over here in Central Asia.